Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take a quick look around Peppermint OS 10. So it's been a while since I looked at Peppermint OS, probably about a year or so. Um, I did do it on the channel, so you can have a look now. Since then, um, I've not really kept too much of an eye on it. So let's have a look. We've got Peppermint 10. We have 1710 packages out of the box. LXDE. XFWM4 window manager. The theme is Peppermint XFWM4, Adwata GTK3, Icons Adwata, and the terminal is Sakura. So that's that. Um, it's based on Ubuntu, and as I said, it's is it LXDE? Then the, yeah, so it's LXDE. I'm not sure whether it always was. It probably was. Um, I haven't watched the old video that I did. Um, dread to think. But anyway, so this is running 308 megabytes of RAM out of the box. This is a virtual machine, though, which tends to use you know a bit less than if you was to install it natively. So let's just minimize that and see what programs it comes with out of the box. So you get, let's start in accessories. So you get disks, files, which is probably Funa. Nope, Nemo. So you get Nemo for your file manager. Which actually looks quite nice. Uh, so when it's inactive, it's red. When it's focused, it's grey. Okay, nice. So let's get back into accessories. We've got discs. Which discs is that? So that's GNOME discs, I do believe. It looks just like, yeah, that's GNOME discs. I'm, I'm going to just assume. So let's keep going. We've got document viewer, icon browser, image viewer, screenshot, menu editor, text editor. What's the text editor? So the text editor is XZ, X E D. Um, Firefox for your web browser. No, oh, we didn't get there yet. So it comes with a few games out of the box you got Better Than Chess, Entanglement, First Person, Tetris, Mahjong Solitaire, and Spider Solitaire. Out of the box for your graphics. So there's no GIMP. You've got Editor by Pixelar Express, but I'm not sure what these are actually. And Simple Scan. Let's open them. I've not really seen them before. Um, so that was graphics. So in internet, you've got BitTorrent, Dropbox. Is that a web plugin? A web app, sorry. No, it's not. There is a native desktop, isn't there, for Dropbox? What am I talking about? Which is something I don't really use. Um, I'm going to cancel that. I don't even. I, I, I might have a Dropbox account. I can't remember. Um, let's keep going. So you've got Firefox, Send, Firefox web browser. So this is the yeah, because they they have like this web app sort of integration thing here so you've got desktop integration for web apps which is called ice or ICE online user game and guide and peppermint forum so multimedia you got guck view c view media player pulse audio equalizer and pulse audio volume controls so in the office here i can see you've got some web apps now you've got gmail google calendar google drive microsoft excel uh, just office suite basically so let's open Google Calendar and um, it will just be a web app yeah see Mozilla Firefox at the top there I accept no thanks okay so the pixel um, the image editor is also the on an online web app um, that I'm not too familiar with um, so there you go um, I'm not going to sign in because um, then everyone will know my <laughs> my Google account. So and it's got a Dropbox plug in there as well. So yeah, it sort of does heavily integrate web apps, but if that's your thing, if not you can just I'm gonna move the panel up the bottom. Sorry, I've just realised that my face might be covering quite a bit of it. So let's move it up to the top. That's better. Right, so let's open the appearance settings and see if we can have a little poke around at how it looks. So let's see. So as I said, it's got the red sort of accent colours. So if we sort of make this a bit bigger. So I'm not too keen on the red. Let's try. Let's see what else they've got here. Grey dark. Let's try this one here. So let's apply that. So now if I don't, oh it's still red though, let's open up something else, still red, so it might need to have a little restart maybe. Um, let's go on to icon theme, so that needs to be, it's still, 
Let's do that a moment, see if that changes it. No, let's go to Papyrus Light, Papyrus Dark. Let's open the file manager again. No, maybe if we've done a restart, it might take effect. Let's just do a quick reboot. Shouldn't take long. Okay, this is what the loading screen. Okay, and we're back. So let's see if any of those changes have taken effect. No. So that's still red. Just go to the peppermint settings panel. Customized look and feel. So back where we were, let's change it completely out of peppermint to something else. Let's go to mist. Just apply that for a moment. Oh god, look at that. <laughs> so maybe because the um, let me try a window. Oh, let's have a look. There we go. So you got the peppermint control center here as well. So let's try and do it in here. So let's go to peppermint. Peppermint gray dark. Right, that's taken away that. So let's go back um the red. So let's just poke myself in the eye. Damn. All right. Um let's close let's get back that back on peppermint dark as well, dark gray. Oh, my eyes water in man. Oh, okay. Um peppermint dark gray, let's apply that. Okay, it's all coming together nicely now. Yep, that looks pretty nice to me. So let's go into the icon theme. Um, and let's see if we can change that to to that, and then let's change it again. So pepper mix grey, apply, bang. Right, let's have a look at that. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of those icons actually. Let's go back to papyrus dark, um, pepperus. Sorry, what about new mix square? Let's try that one. Um, yeah, not bad. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got some elementary stuff here. Let's have a look. Okay, I'll probably prefer this. Let's have a look at the dark. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Nice. There we go. I think it's looking pretty nice, really, to be honest. There's only a couple of changes of the themes there. So let's just change the background as well. And what have they got? What have they got? Let's just chuck it on there for a moment. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, what compositor does it use? Does it use Compton? No, does it use the default? Nope. So let's go into panel preferences again. So has it got it enabled or will we have to do it? Nope, so it's got the compositing already enabled. Let's close that. Let's go into the settings again. So let's go in the peppermint settings panel. We'll do it the peppermint way. Let's get this a bit bigger. Just notice that background's probably made my face quite dark. The lighting in this room is terrible. Okay. So let's go into tweaks. What have we got here? We've got Reset the panel to default, deconfigure, enable or dis disable NeoFetch, and software and updates. Let's go on to there. Let's see if it's got. Ah, oh, it's just that one. Okay, cool. Um, Customize look and feel. Again, it's just that. Let's see if there's the window manager or something. Control center. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so it's the one we was just in. Let's have a look through here. Here we go. Here's the um, sort of the settings for the compositor. I knew we'd get there in the end. Um, you can tell I haven't used this in a very long time. Um, so we can 
change the look and feel here um, in regards to sort of the transparency that you see so when a window is inactive um, if you like that you can leave it or you sort of enable it or change how much so it's already got that disabled by default if that was there that would cause an issue if you was to have a plank so let's install a plank actually has it got any plank no so let's install plank should probably get a quieter keyboard for these videos to be honest oh sorry that's the uh, hosts all right, let's run plank. Um, let's just bring that down a lot. I'm just go to transparent for now. And let's chuck it on the left. Cool. Right, so yeah you can't really see it there because of the dark wallpaper but that's not too much of an issue customize new mix folder icon so can you change the color what are the new mix ones oh yeah i'm not too keen on new mix really okay All right, let's add plank to the um, session and start up um keep thinking this is xfce Okay, so auto start, so we can add it in here. Um, I didn't add anything there, did I? Uh, plank, add. So where's that gone? Flat pack. So it's got um, flat pack integration already, I do believe. Let's go to the software store. take a while that might find some updates as well because I think we've got an update icon up the top here yeah so it's got um, flat hub repository sort of enabled out of the box so you'll be able to install search and install for flat pack images uh, applications from here as well and then that would just be oh no that's the KDE snap store so has it got snap as well No snaps are installed yet, but it's got snap installed. Yeah, so it's got um, snap and flat pack installed out of the box. So it didn't find Caden Live in the repositories. Let's see where it finds GIMP. one gimp two gimp so again is it just going to be a snap yeah snap and flat pack what's this okay it's taking a bit of a, a bit of a while there snap might be interfering with it Okay, um, I don't know what that is, I can't read it. Um, it's from the Snap Store though. Okay, cool, I'm going to do an update. And an upgrade as well. Yeah, it's got all the Bionic repositories there. There we go, so it's got some upgrades there. What's it got? X server, Xorg. Cool, quite a bit okay so it's probably why it's not finding the um, programs from the bionic repository from the software store so once it's done that we should reboot and it should find you know like free applications for everything that it's got an application for in snap flat pack and in bionic repository um, I'm not sure how long that's going to take so let's have a little further look around what's doing that um, I'm going to change the background again just so it's not as dark like with the lighting here they got a lighter image let's have a look at this one 
Is that any better? No, it will do, I suppose. Okay, so you can see the transparency is taking a bit of a better effect on this wallpaper because of the differences. Um, so let's have a look at the keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard finds nothing. Settings. So let's go into the Peppermint settings panel again and see if they've got the keyboards in here. Printer sound display, additional drivers, audio, uh, no. So let's go into a different settings. Let's try the control center. Mm, not opening. Okay, the um, the update's probably affecting a few packages there that might be actively updating as we're trying to open them. You never know. Um, Name software plugin, snap. Sorry about that. Okay, it's up. So what we got here? Have we got anything for the key? There we go. Keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcuts. Let's take a look at what their defaults are. Where's the mouse? There we go. Okay, for the X terminal emulator, Control Alt T, Nemo, Super E. It's not going to work, is it? Because of that. So that one's not working. Nemo. So they've got another one. Control Alt F. Pop up whisker menu. So where's the one that's the spine to the super? So what I'm going to do for a moment. So they've got a few here. I'm going to just sort of disable I'm just going to delete it because they've got a few there for different ones we're just going to delete that one and as you can see as I deleted that the shortcuts that I did earlier have now popped up that's the only thing about shortcuts in some, some desktop environments um like any if you want super and then you you've got the sort of application launcher binded to the super you're going to have problems with any of the other sort of defaults that use the super so now that we've taken that out oh, it's just appeared there again So let's just delete that once more. So let's just make it s delete. Oh, are you sure you want to perform this action? There we go. So that's gone. So let's try and open up Nemo with that shortcut again. See, it works first time. So now let's see what else has the super binded to it. Is that was that just it? No. See, so, um, I'm going to assume Windows snapping side by side will also use the super. Let's just test it out now. No. So where's that? Move window upper. Control shift alt up. Control shift alt up. Not done nothing. Control shift alt up. No. Oh, okay. No. Move window. Workspace, so we've got workspace keys, workspace 12, move window, workspace 7, move window, alt control 1. So let's move a window to alt control 2. Alt control 2. No, all that has done is moved my <laughs> host OBS. So let's go back. <laughs> okay. Um, Again, that's probably just because I've got this is not running as a sort of on bare metal because it's a VM. So some of my own hosts, keyboards, shortcuts are going to interfere as well. So let's just go and change the workspace free, control F free. Um, my F because I've got um, function keys, so that probably won't work. I'd have to sort of do some weirdness there resize so let's have a look at the alt tabber so, uh, so that's the tab switcher which is an alt tab and is our terminal complete now yes so we'll do a reboot in a moment we'll get another ram read so it's got the snapping and i do believe it's going to have four way very nice and there Overall, this whole system feels very fast, especially even on a VM. Let's see what sort of RAM we've got at the moment. So we've not even touched a gig yet. We're still under we're under 700 meg RAM, but it's creeped into the swap. So what is the swap value? Sixty. 
Okay. Um, I'm surprised. Okay. Uh, look, I'm just going to open and tell you what we do. Our reboot, and then we'll um, we'll get a reading of the RAM then, and see if those that updates now sort of refresh the store, and then we can install other packages. Okay, so we've got the all update OK sign up there. So let's open up the software store again. So it's just software. So then let's try GIMP again. It's in a while to search the stores. No, so it's still only finding two. So it seems to sort of prefer the um, the snaps and the flat packs in the store, at least from my play around with that. There we go, Ubuntu Bionic Main. So it's in there, There's something going on with the store there or something. Okay, um, yeah, nice though. I'm actually quite impressed with this. I was impressed with it when I looked at it a little while ago. Um, and I might actually, because I've got this tiny little gigabyte bricks thing here, which is just quite old and sluggish, and I think this will probably complement it quite well. So I'm going to do a final reboot, get a RAM reading, and then I'm just going to end the video there. But yeah, no, overall quite impressed. Uh, you know, again, um, I can't even remember the video that I did about it, and I, I don't really watch my old videos at all. So it's kind of a fresh look at it again. I remember certain things. Okay, man. Okay, right. Let's just open up a terminal. So we're on three hundred and fifty-seven. That's that's pretty pretty impressive, to be honest with you. Um, as I said though, uh, on a virtual machine, you're likely always to use a bit less had than you would if it was installed on a on bare metal. Anyway, that's been Peppermint OS ten. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one. Bye bye.